Welcome to the Sports Talk with T. And before we start this video, I want to say please subscribe. We're on the road to 200. We're currently at 191 subscribers right now. So before I start this video, go down there and hit that subscribe button. Now we'll get right into it. Donovan Mitchell, it's been well known that the Jazz are trying to trade him. The Knicks have reportedly turned down two trade offers from the Utah Jazz. Let's get into them. So the first trade offer they turned down, this was apparently before Mitchell Robinson officially signed his contract. And that trade involved Mitchell Robinson being the centerpiece, along with some other young players, I would assume probably Quentin Grimes, Emmanuel Quickly, Miles McBride. So we'll say Mitchell Robinson, Emmanuel Quickly, Miles McBride, or Quentin Grimes. Either way, you know, the young players. Plus... Three or four first-round picks and two pick swaps. The Knicks declined that trade. Why did they decline that trade? I do not think they were willing to give up the four first-round picks, the two pick swaps in a deal where they're already giving up a pretty good amount of young talent. So the second deal, which was reportedly turned down a couple days ago, was Quentin Grimes, Miles McBride, Emmanuel Quickly, Obi Toppin, and six first round picks. Six first round picks. I think Danny Ainge has really met his match with Leon Rose because when you look at what Danny Ainge has done in the past with trades, we always go back to that Boston Celtics trade where he traded Kevin Garnett, uh, Paul Pearson, another guy, to the Brooklyn Nets. And it ended, ended up being the death to the Nets because obviously they could not compete with an aging core of players. In their picks, they were out of picks for about five years. They finally rebuilt it, and they did the same thing. But we're not here to talk about the Brooklyn Nets. We're here to talk about the New York Knicks. So what Leon Rose has done, what I believe he is doing at this point, Leon Rose is is using some leverage. Okay, He's finding a way to gain leverage in this situation because if you look at it, you would think Utah has all the leverage, which to a point is true, but also to a point is not true because... Utah wants picks. They want picks. Who can offer that? The Knicks. The Knicks have eight tradable first-round picks over the next couple of years. Um, you look at Miami Heat's, the Miami Heat's offer. I'm being told their offer is insufficient. They don't have the talent nor the picks that the Utah Jazz want. And when I talk about the talent, I'm not talking about Tyler Hero. I don't think the Utah Jazz want a player they're going to have to pay pretty you know right away they want to go ahead and get guys on rookie contracts that they have more flexibility with guys like Quint Grimes, Emmanuel Quickly, Obi Toppin, Miles McBride um, they want guys like that they want picks and the Knicks have that so what Leon Rose is doing here is he's going to hold out a little bit because you got to realize the Knicks don't have to trade for Donovan Mitchell everybody says the Utah Jazz don't have to trade Donovan Mitchell well, yes, that is true, but Donovan Mitchell is yet to request a trade. So with that being said, the Utah Jazz are openly shopping him without him even requesting a trade. So that tells you that Utah is looking to get rid of him and not the other way around where Donovan Mitchell is trying to force his way out of Utah. Um, so Leon Rose does have a pretty good amount of leverage in this situation because I, I think he's been leveraging over the last couple of days. Everybody's saying, when's the deal going to get done? I think he's going to hold out a little bit on this deal. I do because he's going to ultimately trade for Donovan Mitchell. He's going to trade what he thinks Donovan Mitchell is worth, not what Danny Ainge thinks. And if a deal doesn't get done, I think ultimately the Utah Jazz have more to lose than the New York Knicks because – Donovan Mitchell, you know, he's a great player, but he's he'll be a depreciating value on the Utah Jazz this upcoming season if they do decide to hold on to him. He'll be a depreciating asset, and the, what the Knicks got is young assets, assets that you expect to appreciate over the next couple of years. So the Knicks are in a really good spot with this Donovan Mitchell stuff because it doesn't look like the Heat's offer is sufficient. The four-team, four or three-team trade that we talked about, sending Aiton to the Pacers, sending Donovan Mitchell to the Nets, and sending Kevin Durant to the Suns is completely out of the question now because DeAndre Aiton signed 
the deal with the uh, Indiana Pacers. The Phoenix Suns decided to match. Now DeAndre Ayton is not tradable until December. So looking at that, it looks like Leon Rose is leveraging. I do still think the Knicks will get Donovan Mitchell. I, I think ultimately they will. I just think Leon Rose is being smart right now and not willing to overpay. So as I always say, thanks for watching. If you didn't enjoy, please like, comment, and subscribe. And leave your thoughts on this Donovan Mitchell stuff in the comment section down below. Do you think the Jazz want too much?